Welcome to this video on designing VPC architectures. In this video, we'll explore how to design secure and efficient VPC architectures using key AWS components like security groups, network ACLs, route tables, and NAT gateways. Let's dive in. When designing VPC architectures, it's essential to include security components to create secure workloads and applications on AWS. A virtual private cloud, or VPC, provides isolation and control over resources within a virtual network. This serves as a robust foundation for security, allowing you to safeguard your resources effectively. Security groups act as virtual firewalls for your EC2 instances. They control both inbound and outbound traffic at the instance level. By defining rules based on IP addresses, protocols, and ports, you can regulate what traffic is allowed. Security groups are stateful, meaning that if traffic is allowed in one direction, the corresponding response is automatically permitted. This feature simplifies rule management while maintaining strict traffic control. Network ACLs, or access control lists, provide an additional layer of security at the subnet level. Unlike security groups, ACLs are stateless, meaning inbound and outbound rules are evaluated separately. This feature makes them ideal for applying broader security measures to entire subnets, complementing the instance-level protection provided by security groups. Route tables are essential for controlling traffic within your VPC. By defining routes, you can direct traffic between subnets, to the internet, through an internet gateway, or even to other VPCs using VPC peering. Proper configuration of route tables ensures both security and functionality, especially for private subnets, which should only route traffic to internal resources or through NAT gateways for controlled internet access. NAT gateways, or Network Address Translation Gateways, allow instances in private subnets to access the internet for updates and patches. However, they prevent inbound traffic from the internet, ensuring that private instances remain secure. By placing a NAT gateway in a public subnet, you maintain outbound connectivity for private resources while keeping them shielded from external threats. When designing VPC architectures, there are several best practices to follow. First, use segmentation by dividing your VPC into public and private subnets to isolate resources. Next, apply the principle of least privilege to allow only the minimum necessary access. Additionally, implement monitoring and logging using tools like AWS CloudTrail and VPC flow logs to track activity and detect potential security incidents. Finally, ensure compliance with best practices by regularly reviewing and updating your configurations. To summarize, designing VPC architectures with components like security groups, route tables, network ACLs, and NAT gateways is critical for creating secure workloads and applications. These tools provide a layered security approach, ensuring your resources are protected, traffic is controlled, and compliance requirements are met. I hope this video has provided valuable insights into how to secure your workloads and optimize your AWS environment.